Now let me create a function to create an SQL table by the name item. So in order to create the function df followed by name of the function create table colon document string used to create a table. Now in order to create a table uh, you have to execute an SQL statement and in order to execute the SQL statement first you have to establish a connection between Python and uh, MySQL. So for that you can call the function by the name create connection. Now as you know this function returns two quantities connection object and cursor object. So you can write like this connection cursor equals okay so now see variable con contains the connection object variable cur contains the cursor object and using this cursor object you can execute sql statements now in order to create an sql table the statement is let me type the statement so the string variable points to the sql statement and your sql statement is create table followed by name of the table it is item opening bracket now let me continue with this in the next line okay so create table item now here you can write the column details so it is item number followed by type of data this contains only integers okay so you can write int within bracket 5 so maximum you can enter 5 digit integers now if you want to make this column primary key what is the meaning of primary key this column should not contain duplicate entry or missing entry okay so if you want to make it a primary key here you can simply type primary key leave a space leave a space and type primary key now just put a comma the details of the next column let me continue in the next line backward slash okay so inside double quotes next column it is item name and it is characters plenty of characters so the type of data is variable character work char and within bracket maybe maximum 10 characters not more than that okay now you can put a comma let me continue in the next line backward slash and the last attribute or column let it be price and this may contain decimal numbers isn't it so you can give the type of data as decimal within bracket 5 comma 2 and what's the meaning of 5 comma 2 two places allocated for decimal points and five places allocated for the whole number part now for the create table command here there is an opening bracket isn't it you can close that here followed by semicolon each name statement should end with semicolon now i need to execute this sql statement so in order to execute and execute SQL statement there is a function by the name execute now this is a function of the cursor object so it should be called as cursor dot execute and the SQL statement should be passed as an argument so here you can write str SQL now if you want you can write this string directly here okay but that is not readable so it's better that you store the string in a string variable and you can mention the string variable name here okay so execute will execute this sql statement so that a table by the name item is created and after creating the table there isn't anything to do so you can close the connection don't keep the connection alive okay so connection dot close so when you call this function a table by the name item created in the computer's hard disk now in order to insert rows i need a function so start with def followed by insert row without inserting row the table is meaningless 
so used to insert row okay now first item number item name and price they should be entered from the keyboard and after that they should be written to uh, the sql table okay so let me read item number from the keyboard item number it is integer so int input and here you can type enter the item number now item name so you can write it is a string so input here you can write enter the item name and finally price it's a decimal number so evaluate and input here you can type enter the price price that's enough okay now these quantities should be inserted into the sql table so let me write the sql command let me store in a string variable str sql equals how do you insert row into a table the command is insert into followed by table name followed by the keyword values opening bracket let me continue this statement in the next line so backward slash inside double quotes now these values must be inserted the runtime entities must be inserted into the sql table so in the previous video tutor i explained if you want to insert runtime entities what do you do percentage s comma percentage s comma percentage s okay and for this opening bracket certainly you need a closing bracket and semicolon now the values you can store that in a tuple so v is equal to in a tuple it must be stored in a tuple now three values are the the first percentage it is item number so here we can write item number now for the second percentage the value is item name so here you can write item name and for the third percentage is it is price so here we can write price now when you execute the sql statement how do you execute an sql statement there is a function by the name execute now execute function is present in the cursor object so here there is no connection object there is no cursor object so what you can do is you can create a connection how do you create a connection you can call the function by the name create connection so you can copy paste so i created a connection the connection object is con the cursor object is cur so in order to call execute function this function is present in the cursor object so you can do it as cursor dot execute the sql statement that you want to execute should be passed as an argument and the second argument the values okay they are runtime entities so just put a comma we the tuple b contains the list of the values the various values okay it's not a list b is a tuple so v contains the various values so automatically these values will be substituted here one by one and after that the sql statement will be executed now in the last class i told you when you make changes in the sql table it's very important that you commit the change you commit the transaction okay how do you commit a change c o m m i t there is a function by the name commit very important commit is a function of the connection object maybe in the previous video tutor initially i said it's a function of the cursor object it's wrong commit is a function of the connection object so it should be called as connection dot commit so the row will be inserted into the sql table after that don't keep the connection alive you should close the connection so connection dot close okay so two more functions are ready in order to create a table i 
created one function in order to insert rows into the SQL table I created another function. Now the remaining functions in the next video tutorial.